In this video, you're going to learn all about messenger RNA and how it's being used to develop innovative therapies like vaccines. I'm Dr. Andrew Berg, co-founder of Sketchy, a visual learning company used by medical students around the world. And I'm Dr. Chase Feiger from Austro Health. Medicine can be complicated, so we find it's easier to teach it with visual stories. We'll use this medieval town to show how our cells normally function, what happens when coronavirus infects our cells, and how mRNA therapeutics work to protect us from the devastating consequences of infection. So you can see this town is encircled in walls. These are to represent the cell membranes that surround and protect every cell in our body. And this building here in the center is the nucleus. So what's the nucleus and why is it important? Well, let's hop inside to find out. The nucleus acts as the archives of the cell, essentially a giant library full of DNA, which are these helical sculptures with glowing runes. DNA contains the blueprints for all of the proteins that our cells create. Basically, your proteins make you, you. But we have a problem. The DNA blueprints are inside the nucleus, but our protein manufacturing occurs outside of the nucleus and DNA never leaves the nucleus. So to get the blueprint information from inside to outside, we need a messenger. Introducing messenger RNA, also known as mRNA. And you can see these messenger monks are busy reading the DNA and then transcribing it onto these mRNA scrolls. The mRNA messengers then exit the nucleus via this slide and then make their way to our protein manufacturers represented by this blacksmith who then translates the plans to build proteins. These proteins range from structural components in the cell to signal hormones that travel throughout the body. This happens thousands of times per second in every cell in our body. And what's critical to understand here is that mRNA can only leave the nucleus, which is why we show them going down this slide. And once it's out, it can't get back in. And just like these flimsy scrolls here, mRNA is unstable. It degrades quickly. And this can be from a matter of minutes up to a maximum of a few days whereas DNA remains intact throughout the life of the cell. Now that you know the normal function of our cell, let's talk about what happens when your body gets infected with coronavirus. Coronavirus has adapted to utilize specific proteins called spike proteins. These spike proteins attach to our cells and allow it to penetrate our cells' defenses. Once inside the cell, the virus's mRNA completely hijacks the cell's machinery and uses it to replicate its genetic material and make copies of itself. These copies accumulate inside our cell until eventually they destroy the host cell, pouring out as they go on to infect new cells. In this way, coronavirus can create billions of viral particles inside our body. This cellular destruction causes the symptoms of fever, inflammation, and if severe enough, can even lead to shock and death. Now that we know how our cells work and how viruses like coronavirus hijack our cells to spread infection, let's shift our focus and talk about therapeutics. Historically, vaccines were formed from weakened or killed viral particles used to create an immune response. These vaccines have saved countless lives, but growing whole viruses in the lab can be costly and time-consuming. mRNA technology has been a major breakthrough, allowing us to much more rapidly develop new vaccines to more quickly respond to new diseases. All right, so let's take a look at how this works. The mRNA in vaccines has a coating that protects it and allows it to enter our cells. And importantly, this mRNA never enters our nucleus, and so it never gets added to the DNA archival library. The vaccine mRNA doesn't last long. It actually degrades completely within a few days, but that's long enough for our protein blacksmiths to read the mRNA instructions and use them to create spike proteins. These spike proteins are then presented outside of our cell and gives our immune system the ability to practice on harmless pieces of the virus. Basically, we're making training dummies. These archers are like our immune cells and they're practicing training their antibody arrows on these viral particles. That way, if one day coronavirus does try to invade, they'll be ready and waiting. 